All right, this is question number seven. It says a student jumps off a sled toward the west after it stops at the bottom of an icy hill. So it jumps off the sled toward the west, and it gives us west and east. Okay, he's jumping that way. We can see that. And he jumps off after the sleigh has stopped at the bottom of the hill. But the hill is icy. There's a key condition right here. Icy means it's slippery. And we have little friction. Okay? Little to no friction. All right, so there it is. And it says now, based on the law of action reaction for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction in what direction will the sleigh move when he jumps off well if you remember it was action reaction law the same thing as saying uh, equal and opposite So that's Newton's third law of motion. So equal and opposite means if the student jumps off or the jumps off to the west, let's say the jump off jumps off to the west with 10 newtons of force, then the sleigh is going to move equal and opposite. So the sleigh is going to move to the east with 10 newtons of force, right? That's what that's saying. So what direction is it going to move? In the opposite direction, the exact opposite would be east.